Hey guys, welcome to Rosie's Dessert Spot. Today we'll be creating this fun style cake that is designed for a kid's birthday party or gender reveal style cake. I'm sticking my five inch cake to my cake board with buttercream and then filling in with more of that frosting. I'll leave a link in the description box below on how to make this along with a link in the eye icon up top. Continue to fill until you have stacked all of your cakes. Whenever I work with a tall cake like this, I do like to go for a mud cake or a pound cake, something nice and dense and heavy. That way it's a little bit more stable and it can hold its own weight when stacked tall like this. Create a crumb coat. This is a thin layer of frosting all around the cake to trap in those crumbs. Smooth it out. You can fill in any spaces if you like. And then bring the lip of frosting towards the middle to level it all out. You can pop it into the fridge for 20 minutes to set or into your freezer for 10 if you're in a rush. In the meantime, while it's setting, you can color the rest of your buttercream. I've chosen pink, turquoise and a purple color. And I like to use gel food colors whenever I'm coloring frosting. Start at the top, smooth it out nice and flat and then work on your sides. Smooth it out and you can fill in any spaces as you go. And then when you're happy with the finish, bring the lip of frosting back towards the middle, just like we did with the crumb coat. From here, you can start putting on your second color. I actually froze mine again for about 10 minutes and that way it doesn't blend when you add on your secondary color. You'll very clearly see the whole spread or puddle of the second color. If you wanted it to blend like a watercolor effect, you could do that instead, totally up to you. I'm thinning it out with my spatula. You could also use a frosting smoother instead to make it nice and thin and then apply little sprinkles. These are uh, sprinkles by Halo Sprinkles and the particular batch was called Flamingo, um, Flamingo Fling, I believe. For the light pink, I've taken a piping bag, cut a very small hole at the end, about maybe 0.5 centimeters from the tip and creating a little bowl and then taking a hot spatula, pressing it into the center and dragging it slowly upwards or diagonally. This will create a really cool little petal like this. And you can't really see it, but every time I put my spatula down, I'm actually dropping it into a glass of hot water, drying it off before I go onto my little uh, mound of frosting. I started with three and ended with one right at the top, so it kind of, um, tape it in towards the top. You could leave it as is or you could add a whole bunch of sprinkles. I wanted this one to look really fun and busy so I just kind of added sprinkles everywhere. As a finishing touch I've taken Rolkim Super Gold and some Rose Water Spirit mixed it together to create a paint and I'm just painting in the outlines of our uh, purple puddles and also for our little pink petals. You can let this sit in the fridge for 20 minutes and that way when you paint it it's all nice and firm and you're not going to mess up your frosting. If you're not able to use rose water spirit you can use a lemon juice or white vinegar. These are both really acidic so they evaporate pretty quickly just like alcohol. I mean not just like alcohol because alcohol is pretty quick to evaporate uh, but it's still better than water so I highly recommend that you do not use water when creating an edible paint. Once all of the outlines have been painted in, your cake is complete. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and give it a go. If you do, hashtag Rosie's Dessert Spot so I can check it out as well. I also sell the cake toppers that you see in these videos and I'll leave a link in the description box below for you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Feel free to subscribe for more tutorials and we'll catch you again in the next one.